after a huge volcanic eruption. We will have no summer this year. Is that true? Of course not. You can see we are having summer now. My name is Zhou Tianjin. I'm a research scientist in the Institute of Atmospheric Physics, Chinese Academy of Sciences. It's my honor to answer your questions. The answer is randomly. Volcanic eruptions cannot be predicted accurately so far, but scientists can predict future eruptions by measuring the earthquakes beneath volcanoes, observing the changes in the terrain around the volcanoes, and also looking at the concentration of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide in the air. Rainfall can only wash out the volcanic ash in the troposphere. However, the impact of volcanoes on climate is mainly due to volcanic ash in the stratosphere, which is located from the top of the troposphere to above 50 kilometers above the ground. The answer is underwater volcanic eruptions. The sulfide produced by the eruption can dissolve in water, having a devastating effect on marine ecosystem. Underwater volcanic eruption can eject great amount of water vapor into the stratosphere. The answer is yes, but not significant this time. Volcanic ash is distributed in both the troposphere and the stratosphere. Where the ash in the troposphere gradually sinks to the land surface, such as falling to the surface with rainfall, and the volcanic ash in the stratosphere spreads globally within a few months and then slowly dissipates. Volcanic eruptions injected water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen chloride ash into the stratosphere. Published scientific estimates of the global carbon dioxide emission by volcanic eruptions is only about 0.2 gigaton per year, which is far less than the impact of human activity in recent years. For example, for the year 2010, about 35 gigaton aspergenic carbon dioxide emission was produced. Therefore, episodic volcanic eruption is unlikely to cause a significant increase in atmospheric greenhouse gases concentration. The answer is no. Volcanic eruptions inject sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere and is converted to sulfate aerosols with an average resident time of 1 to 2 years, which would block the solar radiation and result in the decreased surface temperature. 